<laughs> Greetings and incantations. Prepare yourselves for an intriguing journey into one of the world's oldest games. Welcome to... Chessmates! I am Wigby, the Wizard of Chess! This is... Wanda! Uh, <clears throat> this is Wanda, my assistant. <laughs> Get back here, you big ham! <coughs> And this is Rugby, my faithful carpet. Take a bow, Rugby. <laughs> Oof! My goodness! Now it's time to find out who you are. Wonderful to meet you. It's my pleasure to be your guide. Now, let's get into the thick of it. If you're new to the mysterious world of chess, select the Learn option. If you already know who all the pieces are and what each one can do, you can learn some special maneuvers by selecting the Puzzles option. I'll show you a few of the reliable tactics that made me the chess wizard I am today. Or, if you'd like, select Play and we'll jump right into a terrific game of chess. The secret to chess is not just understanding how each piece moves, but how you can use those moves to win the game. This is what great leaders call strategy or tactics. You can learn several clever tactics used in chess by solving a few simple puzzles. Here, let me show you how. Now we come to the most important part of any game. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, Wanda. Not a halftime show. I'm talking about the tactics. Tactics are clever moves you can make to outsmart your opponent. But you have to watch the board closely. And look for ways to position your pieces so that your opponent has no choice but to fall into your trap. There are seven basic tactics for you to learn. First, I'll explain the tactic, and then I'll give you a chance to practice the tactic within a series of puzzles. Hmm. Let me show you the fork. This is a delicious little move in which you force your opponent to stuff ten pounds of treasure into a five-pound bag. <laughs> he can't do it. Uh, let's see, how can I explain this? Hmm. Ah, here, I think I've got it. It's kind of like this. The knight is dutifully guarding all his treasures with a five-pound bag, when suddenly the dragon shows up and drools over the goodies. Hmm? You see, the knight was only able to get away with one five-pound bag of treasure, and the dragon was left with the other five pounds as a tasty dinner. Dragons love treasure. He 
Here's how the fork works in chess. With your gray bishop, you can fork the red king and rook. Watch. Your bishop is threatening both the red rook and the red king. Red must choose to move one of his pieces. The king, of course. Which leaves you with some treasure. The rook! That's the power of the fork. Your opponent can only save one of his pieces. Remember the knight with the five-pound bag? He couldn't save all of his treasure from the dragon. See if you can create forks on your own in the upcoming examples. Any piece can be used to create a fork. Your queen can make a move to here that creates a fork between the bishop and the knight. Go ahead and give it a try. That's the fork! You have threatened both pieces with your queen, and your opponent can only save one of his valuable pieces. Knights are great for creating forks because of the way they move and their ability to jump over other pieces. If you move your knight here, you will create a fork between the red bishop and the red rook. Great! You've created a fork between the bishop and the rook. Okay, let's get into some puzzles where the fork is used. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the knight fork in this position. Very good. That is the correct move. <laughs> knight forks are sometimes hard to see because of the unusual way that the knight moves. Click on the scroll in the corner and we'll move on to another puzzle. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the knight fork in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. A knight fork with a check is a strong move. Ah. 
Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the night fork in this position. Very good. That is the correct move. If you had played your knight here, the king would move to here. The king would be out of check and protect the pawn. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the night fork in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. A night fork is a powerful attack weapon. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the night fork in this position. Super! That is the correct move. When the rook moves, the bishop is en prise. En prise is a term meaning that the piece in question can be captured for free. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the night fork in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. The term Royal Fork means that all of Red's major pieces are attacked at the same time. Here's another fork puzzle. This one requires you to make two moves. One to set up, the other to execute. It's your turn. Good work! You've captured a red rook and forced a response from your opponent. Now, what's your next move? Wonderful move! That is the correct answer. Here's the puzzle. 
It's your move. Find the night fork in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. The pawn is pinned by the Grey Rook against the Red King, so it cannot capture the knight. last puzzle showed us a sneak preview of our next tactic, the pin. But before we get into that, let's take a look at your progress, shall we? Okay. Hmm. Ah! Now, let me show you the pin. Being pinned is like being in the right place at the wrong time. It's sort of like, well, like standing guard when things get serious. When you're responsible for watching over someone else's stuff, you can't leave it or something might happen to it. That's what happens when you pin your opponent. You lock him in place. When the dragon showed up all hot and bothered, the maiden escaped while the guard had to stay and take the heat. The poor guard was in the right place, <laughs> but at the wrong time. Let's look at a pin on the chessboard. Your queen has pinned the red rook in place. The rook cannot move because he would expose his king. So he must do his noble duty of standing guard as his king escapes. And then your queen can go ahead and capture the red rook. <laughs> Poor rook! He was in the right place, but at the wrong time. Hmm. Ah! Let's try a pin for ourselves. Take a look at what we have here. The queen's next move can pin the rook. Go ahead and move the queen. Great! You've pinned the rook. Your opponent has no choice now. He cannot move the rook without exposing his king to check. So, he has to move his king instead. There it is. The rook is left open for the queen to capture. Go ahead and take the rook. <laughs> You've got it! You were able to pin the rook because he was in the right place at the wrong time. A pin does not have to involve the king. A piece can be pinned whenever it is shielding a piece of higher value than itself. In this setup, the red bishop has pinned your knight against your rook. If you move the knight, the bishop can capture your rook freely. If you don't move the knight, you're unable to prevent its capture on the next turn. 
What choice will you make? Go ahead and make the next move. Good! You kept a bad situation from getting worse. You will lose your knight, but your rook, which is more valuable, is now safe. Now, let's look at almost the same setup, but with a twist. Now look at this example. It's almost the same as the one we just saw, but we've added another piece. Like before, the red bishop appears to have pinned the gray knight, because moving the knight exposes the more valuable rook. It may seem that you have to choose between which of these pieces you will surrender to your opponent, but there is a clever way out of this particular situation. Can you find it? Go ahead and make your next move. Yes! You see it, don't you? You were able to escape the pin by placing the king in check. And you managed a bit of turnabout against your opponent by putting his bishop at the losing end of a fork, all in the same move. Your opponent's only choice now is to move his king leaving you with the bishop. <laughs> As you can see, it pays to look for the opportunities to be found when making a defensive move. You may find you're able to turn a retreat into an attack at the same time. That was fun. Let's have some more fun with puzzles that involve the pin. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the pin in this position. Wonderful! That is the correct move. Gray's next move would be to capture the rook. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Use your rook to create a pin. Excellent! That is the correct move. Gray's next move would be to capture the bishop. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find a pin that will help your game. Good work! That is a very fine chess move. You could move the knight, but setting up the pin is a stronger move. Ah. 
here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the pin in this position. Excellent! That is a very powerful move. This is a common type of pin in the opening of the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find a pin on the red pieces. Congratulations. That is the correct move. The Red Queen is now lost for the lowly bishop. I hope you were not distracted by the free knight found here. The knight is pinned. Can you attack a second time? Excellent! That is the correct move. When the red rook captures back, your bishop takes the rook. And Gray is ahead. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the pin in this position. This one may take a bit of thinking. It will take you two moves. <laughs> Good. Now find the pin. Excellent! That is the correct move. Gray's next move will be to capture the rook. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the pin in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. You know, that's a difficult puzzle to solve. All that Red can do now is play here, losing the queen to the rook. Gray is now ahead by two pawns and should be able to win. <laughs> that 
that's the end of the pin puzzles. Let's see where you're at on the progress board. This powerful tactic is called the skewer. In chess, a skewer is when you have two of your opponent's pieces lined up to be captured. It's a little like... It's a little like putting him between a rock and a hard place. The princess finds herself in a tough spot here, between the guard's hard armor and the rock-hard steamroller. Woohoo! At least the princess was able to escape. Here's how the skewer works in chess. Your gray bishop can create a skewer here. With this line of power, the bishop has created a skewer and put the red king between a rock and a hard place. And he wants out! Well, the king escaped, but the bishop can just nab the rook. That's the great thing about the skewer. It forces your opponent to surrender one of his pieces. Let's try some skewers together. We can catch the queen in the middle of a skewer by moving our bishop to here. Go ahead and move the bishop. Good! The red queen must move or be lost to the bishop. <laughs> Leaving the bishop free to skewer the defenseless knight. Go ahead and capture the knight with your bishop. Good job! Your skewer reached right past the queen and earned you a knight. Let's give the skewer another try. Skewer the rook and knight with your bishop. You've got it! The rook is directly under attack and must move away. This leaves you free to grab the knight. Go ahead and capture the knight with your bishop. Okay, now let's move on to try some skewer puzzles. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the skewer in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. A skewer with a check is a very strong move. The skewer is one of my favorite kinds of chess cutlery. <laughs> hmm. Ah. 
Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the skewer in this position. Superb! That is the correct response. This is a common type of skewer that you will see late in the game, when there are very few pieces on the board. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the skewer in this position. Now this puzzle will take you two moves. Good! Now find the skewer. Very good. That is a wonderful chess move. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the skewer in this position. Excellent! You have found the correct move. Remember how many different ways the queen can attack. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the skewer in this position. Now this puzzle will take you two moves. Good! Now, Find the skewer! Excellent! That is the correct move. You really know your tactics if you got that one correct. Making a capture can help you create a skewer. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Create a skewer in this position. Now this puzzle will take you two moves. Good! Now, find the skewer! Excellent! That is the correct move! Whoa! Good!
would work. Red can only save one bishop. Then the rook captures the other one for free. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Create a skewer in this position. It will take you two moves. Good! Now, find the skewer. Excellent! That is the correct answer. This is a strong tactic to look for late in the game. Well now, that's all of the skewer puzzles. Let's check your progress, eh? This tactic is called removing the guard, and it involves sneaking up on your opponent and pulling the rug out from under him. The princess feels safe here because she is being guarded by her faithful sentry, when suddenly... Shazam! <laughs> Now that the guard is out of the picture, the princess is on her own. Her guard was removed by pulling the rug out from underneath him. Let's look at removing the guard on the chessboard. Our rook is in line to capture the red pawn. But the red knight is guarding the pawn. So, let's remove this guard with our bishop. There! We've put the knight in trouble. So now he must abandon his post. Which leaves the pawn unguarded. So our rook is free to make his capture. We've pulled the rug out from underneath our opponent by pulling the knight away from his guardian position. Now it's your turn to remove some guards. Your queen is all set to capture the red knight. But the knight is guarded by the rook. Use your bishop to remove the guard. The red rook is threatened and must move away. The knight's guard has been removed. Now, you may capture with your queen. Great! You successfully removed the knight's guard and captured the knight for your efforts. Now, let's move on to some puzzles for removing the guard. Here's 
solves the puzzle. It's your move. Win a piece by removing the guard. Now this puzzle will take you two moves. All right, red counters. There's the first move. One more to go. Wonderful! That is the correct move. This tactic can win you many pieces during the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your turn. See if you can't remove the guard on one of Red's pieces. Okay, now Red moves. And it's your move again. Excellent! That is the correct move. In this example, capturing with your rook first would have left you with a lone bishop. And you would not have been able to win the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the move that removes the guard in this position. <laughs> That's the move! Okay, now red moves. And you have one more move. Excellent! That is the correct move. You are now ahead by one piece. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Remove the guard and win a piece. Good move! That's it! And you have one more move. <laughs> Excellent! That is the correct move. Gray should now win with your queen versus a mere rook. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Remove the guard and win a piece. Good, good. It's still your move. Excellent! You have captured quite a few pieces.
You should now be able to win with your queen versus her mere rook. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Remove the guard and win a piece. <laughs> There's the first move. One more to go. Very good. That is the correct move. You're now ahead by a rook. Your sacrifice was only temporary. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find a move that removes the guard from one of Red's pieces. Okay, now Red moves. And it's your move again. Excellent! That is the correct move. You have won a piece for free. What a deal. Here's the puzzle. It's your turn. See if you can't remove the guard on one of Red's pieces. <laughs> That's the move! <laughs> Keep going! One more move! You can checkmate your opponent in one move. Can you find that move? <gasps> now that's what I call a checkmate. Sometimes, in order to remove the guard, all you need to do is get him to move away. You don't have to capture him. <laughs> We've been through all of the removing the card puzzles. Let's check the progress board again. This tactic is called the Discovery. It's all about teamwork. One of your pieces alone may not be able to do a whole lot against your opponent, but two of them might have a chance. It's like... It's like having an ace up your sleeve. Your opponent may think he's safe, but you've got a surprise for him. Observe. The knight here sees the little dragon. 
But he's not worried because the dragon is too small to reach him. Sure was handy for that little dragon to have a big old ace up his sleeve. Let's look at the discovery on the chessboard. Gray's bishop can discover an attack on the red knight. You see, the tricky thing about a discovery is that the piece you move is not the one that attacks. In this example, we move our knight. And our bishop is now lined up to capture Red's knight. The discovery is thrilling because your opponent may not see the attack coming. It is powerful because you may be able to set up two attacks at the same time. Look at where our grey knight is resting. He's all set to capture the pawn. In this discovery move, we have forced Red to lose at least a pawn. He didn't know we had an ace up our sleeve. Now it's your turn to make a few discoveries for yourself. Wanda, take us to some examples, please. Hmm. A discovered attack is one in which the piece moved is not the attacker, but reveals one instead. In this scenario, if you move your knight, you will reveal an attack upon the Red King, placing him in check. Good! You've left the way clear for the rook. And the Red King is now in check. <laughs> Let's look at another case where discovery works well. Here, we can use the discovery to enable us to put the pressure on two pieces at once. Move your bishop here to challenge the rook. Now your opponent is faced with a problem. He has his rook under attack by your bishop. And he has his knight under attack from the queen that had previously been blocked by the bishop. So. If he chooses to save his rook, you get his knight with your queen. Go ahead and take it. <laughs> Great! Now let's move on to discover more by solving the discovery puzzles. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the discovered attack in this position. Very good. That is the correct move. Remember that the king can be a fighting piece on an uncrowded board.
Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Look for a discovered attack in this position. Wonderful! That is the correct move. The pawn check forces the Red King to move, leaving the Red Bishop free to be captured. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the discovered attack in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. When discovering a check, Always attack something with the piece being moved. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find a discovered attack. This is a tricky one. Uh-oh. You're in check from the Red Rook. What is your best move? Brilliant! That is the very best move. Look! Now Red's King is caught with no escape on the back rank as you block the check from the Red Rook. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the discovered attack in this position. Very good. That is the correct move. Wherever the Red Queen moves, she cannot protect her knight. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the discovered attack in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. This capture leaves you way ahead and certain to win the game.
Create a discovery for your second move. Good first move. Your next move is a discovery. Brilliant! That is the correct move. Red is forced to move his king. And your discovered attack wins the Red Queen. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Create a discovered attack in this position. Moving your queen to this square will not help to create a discovered attack in this position. It will allow your queen to be captured by Red's queen. Moving your queen to this square will not help to create a discovered attack in this position. Checking the Red King on this square does not help to create a discovered attack in this position. It will allow the Red King to capture your Queen for free. And it's your move again. Superb! That is your best move. Your knight has red in check. <laughs> your queen can now stop the red pawn found here. So, that wraps up the discovery puzzles. Let's take a look at the progress board again to see where you're at now. We already know that if one of your pieces is lined up to capture your opponent's king, his king is in check. Now, if you can put two pieces around the king, both ready to capture him, it's called the double check. Double check is good for, uh, well, uh, double check lets you add insult to injury. Allow me to explain. The princess is just itching to pie the Dragon King, but the guard is blocking her view. Watch her make this situation really messy for the king. Insult to injury! The Dragon King barely escaped those pies! Now, let's look at the double check on the chessboard. 
In this setup, if the rook moves away, the bishop will have the king in check. That's a nicely discovered check. But let's start over and find a double check. So, for a double check, let's move the rook all the way up here. Aha! Both the rook and the bishop have the king in check. And boy, do they have him covered. Not only is the king forced to move, he has very little choice in his escape. Ooh, the red king barely escaped. The double check is effective because it helps you close in on your opponent. Let's get into some examples that feature the double check now. When you close in on the king, you want to try and keep him on his toes. One way to do this is to put the king in check with two pieces at once. This will always force the king to move. You may recognize this situation as a discovery. If the knight moves away, the bishop will check the king. But the knight can put the king in check as well. Why don't you go ahead and move the knight to here? Now the Red King is under fire from two sources. If it weren't for the knight, he could block the bishop's attack with his rook. But the knight would still have the king in check. And a move that would leave the king in check is not allowed. So, the king is forced to move. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the double check in this position. Excellent! That is the correct move. A double check always forces the king to move. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the double check that also gives checkmate. <laughs> Excellent move. That is correct. It does not matter that the pawn could capture the rook, because the double check and mate ends the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the capture that leads to a double check and mate. <laughs> Excellent! That is the correct move. Usually, in a double check, the pieces doing the checking cannot be captured. Hmm. 
Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the double check in this position. Now this puzzle will take you two moves. Wonderful! That is the correct move. And it's your move again. <gasps> When playing a double check, look to cut off as many avenues of escape for the king as possible. Look for mate. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the double check and mate in two moves. Wonderful! That is the correct move. And it's your move again. <gasps> is checkmate. With double check, neither the Red King nor the Red Rook can capture. That's all for the double check puzzles. Before we go on to puzzles featuring checkmate, let's see your progress. The ultimate goal in chess is the checkmate. Checkmate is when you are in position to capture your opponent's king, and you've left him with no escape. The Dragon King has no way out. <laughs> Now that's what I call a checkmate. <laughs> oh, brother. Let's go ahead and look at the checkmate on the chessboard. Hmm. Ah! Oftentimes, the edge of the board can be used as your ally in producing a checkmate. Move this rook to here, and you'll have the king up against the rails. Great! You've trapped the king against the side of the board. <gasps> Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in one move. <gasps> Very good. That is the correct move. Checkmate. When you are looking for mate, don't allow the king to escape to any square.
Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate with the two rooks. <laughs> Excellent! That is the winning move. Using the two rooks together is called a rook roll. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in this position. <laughs> Excellent! That is the winning move. Checkmate! The queen and rook are very strong working together. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in one move. <gasps> Very good. That is the winning move. Checkmate. The king guards this square. The only possible escape square. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in one move. <gasps> Excellent! That is the winning move. Checkmate! Any other move allows the Red King to escape, losing the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in one move in this position. <gasps> Excellent! That is the winning move. Checkmate! Here a pinned piece leads to mate. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in this position. <gasps> Excellent! That is the winning move. Checkmate! 
Red is ahead in total pieces captured, but has lost the game. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in two moves. Excellent! That is the correct move. Go ahead, it's your move. Excellent! That is the correct move. Two pieces working together on the same line is called a battery. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Find the checkmate in two moves. It's your move. Look for checkmate. <laughs> Excellent! That is the correct move. Checkmate occurs just before the pawn promotes to a new queen. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Checkmate in two moves. It's your move. Look for checkmate. Very good. That is the correct move. Once again, we see the great power of the rooks as a battery enforcing checkmate. Here's the puzzle. It's your move. Checkmate in two moves. <laughs> okay, one more move. Excellent! That is the winning move! Checkmate! Giving up your queen is always difficult, but you have reached checkmate and won the game! Ooh, congratulations! You've completed all the puzzles in the game! 
Here is a certificate to mark your great achievement.